Howdy folks, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Uh, FL Far, one of my subscribers wanted me to review the uh, Z23, the Tier 8. I actually realized I didn't have this boat, and I know why. Um, well, I do have it now. I uh, decided to uh, purchase it quickly and do some games and some uh, operations and some co-op and whatnot and some um, uh, random games and whatnot. So, uh, the problem with this line, it's been completely power crept. But I'm going to show you here. This is actually my first or second game playing it again. I can't remember. This Liang, he's going to make a problem. Well, he's going to make some mistakes here. German Hydro is five kilometers. So it's you can see ships for five kilometers. It's great. You pop smoke, you can shoot them. They can't see you. Smoke penalty is uh, three kilometers in this. This Liang is scoring up right here. He should have kept going behind the arm, but he didn't. These are complete defensive torpedoes. He turns into me, so he gets closer to three kilometers. He can see me or spot me, but he doesn't. He's dropping torps right now. Now, this is my mistake right here. <laughs> we get into this. I forgot this is the premium uh, Pan Asian. I look at his torpedoes quickly, and I'm like, wait a minute, those are deep water. I'm like, oh, okay, well, not a big deal. I've got a defensive position. I'm, he's not going to hit me with them. So I'm like, whatever. I'll just sit here and keep shooting him. I wanted to back up a little bit here and uh, run into the uh, to the island hard and start sliding. There we go. And that one is not going to hit me. It's going to hit the rocks here, which is fine. So this guy doesn't understand that German hydro, and that's its, that's its shtick. It's spiel, you know, it's shtick that's got, it's five kilometers. It's really good hydro. The new line that has no hydro, I won't even touch him with a 10-foot pole. This is the only thing. Um, but this line has been power, completely power crept. And we'll uh, get into why. It's got some good things and got some bad points. All right, so uh, he's gone. So uh, let's get into look at the ship. Right off the bat, economic bonuses. Again, I'm working on a, another video for that on what works and what doesn't. Armor is only 19 mil and 13. So that 19 means you can be penetrated by... 272. So pretty much any cruiser and any battleship. Hit points are only a 19.5. It's not a bad hit pool. Artillery, here's the funny part. Three times one, these are 1 on 28 millimeter guns. So they're not bad. They've got a 4.2 second reload. They're normally four, but I'll show you why they went up by 0.2 seconds. Um, turret traverses down to 16.3. It's abysmal, almost like way over that. You have to take grease the gears and you have to take the captain skill grease the gears and the, um, the other uh, equipment, uh, a perk. And then there's the same gun and whatnot. Same thing, 10.8 kilometers. Only a 6.5% fire, uh, fire chance, which is kind of, eh, it's not great, but it's not bad. I do love what the war, uh, the art department does. They do such a good job. Torpedoes that are back here, they are 2 times 4, 533 millimeters. They're um, 9.5 kilometers, 66 knots, which is not bad, but the reload time is a minute and a half. The T61 itself is 60 seconds, so it's, it's a lot better. Depth charge. You got two drops, um, bombs in each drop is 12, but it's 40 second reload. Ugh. You know, you could be facing off against a U2509 or a tier 10 sub, and that's just not going to cut it. You can, uh, submarines are kind of hard to spot, right? So I would like to see Wargaming drop that down by half. A defense I'll get into, and you already know the story about destroyers. 38.9 knots with a speed flag. That's actually not bad. It's pretty good. Rudder shift on these boats is fantastic for dodging torpedoes with your hydro on. Concealment, 6.2. It's decent. This is with all the captain skills. It's not great. You're going to get spotted like I did for the, the uh, Liang. Other Japanese ships, they're all going to spot you. You're going to have a disadvantage of two to 400 meters. Detectability in the air is only 2.8, which is actually quite good. Normally it's over three, so I'll give that credit. So you know me, taking main arm and battery, sorry, main arm and battery modification, I always do that. You're going to get shot at, so you're going to want to take engine protection, in my opinion, because you don't want to get damaged. You're going to need main battery modification for the 15% turret route traverse, because it's it's disgusting without it. I take propulsion modification, because with the rudder shift and this, you can, you can jive ships at far angles and far, de, uh, far uh, reaches. I also take, obviously, concealment. I've done all the upgrades, because you need them in this boat. It is what it is. She's got a repair time. I do like this. Uh, it lasts five seconds, but it's only 38 seconds to reload, which is not bad. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Smoke generator, it lays out a long smoke, 23 seconds. You can actually lay out a good set of smoke for other DDs and other cruisers for you. But, I mean, it will help. It only lasts 69 seconds. Enough for you, to, like I did with the Liang, to kill him. My engine boost, yeah, straight up 8%. I'll stick an extra one that's in the captain skills. Hydro, here's the kicker, three and a half kilometers for torpedoes, but five kilometers for ships. You can get into a situation like what's in the Liang, and that's her stick. You can actually defend a cap pretty well, as long as you're not spotted. If you get spotted, eh, not good. 
Simple flags I take, pretty straight up. And I don't take anything else for exterior because it's just it's not worth it more. So let's go into, go into Luntons. Again, grease the gears, need it, 100% need it. I always take uh, preventive, sorry, preventive maintenance because you're going to need that as well. Here's last stand. I always take that because you're going to want it. You're getting shot up. Priority target. How many people are looking at me? I always find that important. Destroyers. Adrenaline rush. This is a must. The bottom three are becoming pretty standard with me in, on, on, on destroyers with Dazzle. You know, it helps when you get spotted to ward off their shots and whatnot. And I always take concealment and, and swift and silent. That's a an extra bonus, 8%, just like you have a speed boost when you can't be seen or you're not seen. This does cause your main battery load time to go plus, plus 5%, which is the 0.2 seconds. Not a big deal. So AA, I'm going to show you how to do AA in a destroyer, especially these ones. Uh, go find the aircraft carrier and kill it because <laughs> there is no AA. Um, it's terrible. So I, I uh, was just doing this in the training against the Eagle. I don't know if this tier 8 destroyer would face an Eagle. I'm not sure. But I always go with the hardest ones. So... Overall, what do I think of the line? The line has been severely power crap. People tell you that the tier 10 is at 52. You don't play, you don't do anything. But uh, there's not very many of us left, and I can see that I'm one of the few people left. It wasn't a high tier game. I got a kill in. Um, did some good torpedo damage-ish. No, I only got one torpedo hit, I think. Yeah, they're just a power crap line. I mean, they're not the line I would start off with in DDs, to be honest with you. If you want something and you want to, you know, go easy route, American or Japanese... And whatnot i would start there um this is a line for more experienced players but it's just not my cup of tea it's just not something i would do personally i was trying to see if this otago would stop in a cap but i realized at this point it's just me and the carrier left so uh, yeah they're gonna kill the carrier so yeah i'm not gonna go down without a fight that's that's me i don't quit so it is they're they're fun set of, uh, of destroyers that you see the, the stick they're really good at they're good for getting caps but overall their power creep is a line, and I personally wouldn't play them, and I'm not going to play the, the offshoot without Hydro with a crappy range. No. And the, that those uh, destroyers in that line have really restrictive fire times. If you go up against some of the Tier 9s and Tier 10s, like a Kitakazi and whatnot, I'll kill you. You're in the Z-52, I'll kill you 10 out of 10 times. Even if I'm at half health, you're death. I didn't realize the Otago was getting right behind me. Anyway, it is what it is. I wouldn't fret it. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting life if you want to do it. But for me, no, they're, they're power crept pretty bad. So I wouldn't play them and I wouldn't go after them if I was new until I had some other DD lines. But as always, uh, far, I felt far. I hope this was good for you. Uh, um, thanks for the comment. More than happy to do other reviews for people as well. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the German line being, uh, you know, power crept. And there's my bonsai. I'm not stopping. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> anyway, as always, take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I wish you all the best. So uh, bye for now.